Hi, welcome to Mark's Group Live. Uh, my name is Rachel and I am here today to teach you how to import data into the Zoho CRM. Um, please take some time after our video is over. If you have any questions, you can feel free uh, to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Um, you can also rate our videos um, and that will help other Zoho users find it. Um, and also please feel free to give us any feedback on this particular video or if there are other videos you would like to see. That way we can keep improving our photo, our video library. Excuse me, not photo library. Um, all right, so let's go over quickly what we're gonna go over today. Um, so we're gonna go over why you might import data into the Zoho CRM, um, how to import data from an Excel spreadsheet into Zoho, and then how you can map that data into a particular module um, so it can, uh, I'll transfer over. So let's go over to our main screen. So there are a bunch of reasons why you might import data into a particular module into the CRM. Um, the example I'm going to use today is let's say you were at a trade show and, um, you, uh, got a bunch of information about people and you want to upload that information into your leads module. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start, not here in Zoho, but at the uh, sample Excel sheet that I created. Um, so I made this sheet, let's pretend we got all this information from a, um, from a trade show. And, you know, I have first name, last name, business name, street, city, state, zip code, email. Um, as you're going to see as we go through the video, Actually, not all of these categories exactly line up with the fields in my leads module, um, but I will show you how uh, Zoho will help resolve that as we import it in. So you can certainly import uh, people, you can import, um, you know, contacts, you can import in um, any information into other modules as well as particular notes. Um, you can import in um, or like attach files. Um, but today we're going to go over specifically how to import data that you want to put into separate fields, um, create new records in the CRM. Okay, let me go ahead and go to our actual CRM. All right, so here we are on our main page. Um, and as I said in this example today, we are going to import some information from that um, Excel sheet into the leads module. So I'm going to go up into my leads module, which is up here at the top bar. We have leads. Now they make importing very, very easy. Oh, hold on, it's loading. Here we go. Um, up in the top right hand corner, you'll see import. All you have to do is go ahead and click on that and it will give you options. You can either import leads or import notes if you have notes from Word documents. But we're going to go ahead and import leads. So this gives you two options. You're importing either from a file or another CRM. I didn't mention, uh, but I probably should. Uh, another main reason you might be importing um, from into the Zoho CRM is if you are importing all of your information um, from another CRM. Maybe you are using... Um, Salesforce or another program to, uh, you know, track your contacts and you're, you're doing that from Zoho. From the other CRMs, that's what you're going to click. If you click on which CRM are you coming from, it will give you an option. It's not, there's like a pop-up that's coming up that I don't think you can see in this video, but it'll give you an option of all a bunch of other CRMs that are web-based and you can really import it easily from there. You click it um, and it'll walk you through the steps on logging into that particular program, logging into your Zoho account, and it will migrate all the data over. Um, but what we're going to focus on today is downloading from a particular file. So I'm going to go ahead and click on browse and you can't see this, but this will take me to just my regular choose a document uh, window. So I'm going to choose this sample file and it's going to go ahead and upload. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. This is a small little file so it happens quickly. So I'm going to go ahead and click next and here we do. We, here we are. We have three different options for updating these records or 
import these records. We can either enter them all as new leads. You can update existing leads only. So maybe you have a spreadsheet with uh, names that you already have in your module, um, records you already have, but there's changes in information, maybe phone numbers, addresses. You can update leads that already match with that information, or you can say both. I'm gonna click on both. So, well, let me go through this all. Um, you have the option to skip existing leads, um, and you can do that based on lead ID, and you can do that based on email. Um, we do not have lead IDs in this particular um, Excel sheet that I created. Um, the lead IDs are something that Zoho will generate itself. So if you downloaded information or exported information from Zoho and then are re-entering it in, you might have a lead ID. Um, but I always suggest um, adding new leads and then skipping if there are duplicate leads via email. So that means if you import it in and they see two leads with the same email, a record that's already created and a record that you're importing, it will skip that altogether. When you click on update, you can also do the same thing or both. So I'm going to uh, choose existing leads based on email. Um, this don't update value for existing leads. This is a new box and I recommend people always leave it checked. Um, what this is telling you that um, if there are leads and there's a discrepancy between let's say addresses or phone numbers, it won't update um, a, the record to have the newest version of the information. Um, that could be problematic because you don't know which information is correct. Um, so that's just a little note there. I'm gonna go ahead and click next. And this will bring us to our map import fields um, for this particular document. So as you can see up here, we have three options, all mapped and unmapped. Um, the mapped, these are things that they pulled from the exact, um, from the document. So you can see first name, last name. In my file that I downloaded, it said business name, but Zoho was smart enough to know that it was the company name. Um, if it's not correct, you can always click on the drop down menu and it will give you all of the fields that are available in that module and you can pick it. But Zoho was correct, it was intuitive, it said company name. Street, street, city, city, state, state, zip code, email. Phone number you can see was a little bit different, but Zoho was smart enough to realize that this was a phone. Um, the, the field says phone, not phone number. If there are unmapped fields, they will show up here. It will look very similar to this, but instead of actually having the lead, it will say select none, and you have to select which field it goes to. You can also down here, reset the field mapping and apply auto mapping. So if you reset field mapping, I'm gonna yes, reset field, everything becomes unmapped. So as you can see, you have to select all of the fields. If you want Zoho to take a stab out of it, you can apply auto mapping and it will auto map everything. For some reason, one thing did not map the business name and I know that that's company name in Zoho. So I'm gonna go ahead and press next and it's gonna take you to a few more options here. The first is the lead source to be assigned. So we have a field in our leads module that says lead source. So you can pick where you got these from. I'm gonna say these were all from a trade show. So in every single, uh, in every single record from this import, the lead source will say trade show. Next is you can assign owners for these particular leads. You can collect, uh, by choosing users, you can assign a user specifically. This is helpful if, you know, they're all going to one person. I will say TMG 
admin, or you can do assignment rules. Now, assignment rules, they give you a couple of options. You can either assign them by country. So maybe you want um, one user gets all the European leads, one gets all the Asian leads, um, you know, or you can assign by round robin, which means that they will deal leads out to anyone who deals with their own leads kind of in a, like you deal out a deck of cards. So some will go to one person, some will go to another person at random. But I'll go with users. You also I'll quickly say you can create different assignment rules. We go over that, um, you know, in our customization classes. You can also assign tasks for these new leads. These are all tasks that we have created um, maybe you want to schedule a phone outreach for every single new lead that's imported. You'll get this task that we already created that says, um, call this person within seven to 10 days. You can add tags. I think this is helpful. I'll call this winter 2019 trade show. So then at the top of all of these leads, you will see that little tag. Um, and I, oh, I didn't save. Um, I think that that can be helpful to just click on and see, um, you know, all the people that you imported at this one time. Enabling manual lead approval will mean that an admin has to make sure that these are allowed to be approved before they show up in the records. I'm not going to click on that, um, but depending on um, how your company runs, um, that might be something that you have to do. And I'm going to go ahead and finish. So the leads imports has been scheduled. If you're importing a lot of records, it takes a long time. Um, I do not think that this will take that long because there's not many people, so it should pop up any minute here. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh my page and see if it's completed. All right, as we can see, Alex Alvarez, Penny Dimester, all these people came in. They all have the little today banner because we added um, a task, the schedule phone outreach. Let's click on Alex here. You'll see he has the winter 2019 trade show, all of the information that was in the spreadsheet, which is a pretty bare bones spreadsheet, but it's all there. The activity was created. And if we go ahead and click on this winter 2019 trade show tag, it will take us to all of the uh, all of the people who were imported with that same tag. Let's see if it will uh, load here. Here we go. There's all of our people. Okay, so again, today we went over, you know, what you might need to import data into for the Zoho, why you might need to import data into Zoho, uh, how to import it and how to map that data over. Um, again, if you have any questions, please, please, please feel free. Oh, I'm just kind of... Uh, clicking around here. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to email us, um, support at marksgrouplive.com or email me at rachel at marksgroup.net. Um, we'll be happy to answer your questions on this topic. Um, check out our archive for our other videos. Um, in this kind of topic of classes, we, we have other videos on also exporting data and how to deduplicate your data if there are multiple of the same uh, records in your modules, how to clean them up a bit. Thank you so much. Uh, please tune in uh, for some other videos if you, if you have any questions, and I appreciate you watching today.